Okay, this is part two of how to use Outburst Pro. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule your uh, campaign. Uh, on the left side, it says copy settings at the very top. Uh, they, that any campaign you've done in, uh, recently, you can click on that and it'll fill in all of the settings here except for the date and the start and end time. Uh, and so it makes it easy. You don't have to go fill in all these every time you do a campaign. But since this is the first time for, for you to see this, I'm going to uh, go ahead and enter in this information. Repeat campaign. Uh, you can repeat it weekdays, weekends, whatever. We're not going to do any of that. Campaign type. You can do three different types. You can do answering machine only, live only, or live and answering machine. Uh, I'm going to select live and answering machine. That's probably what you're going to do most of the time. Campaign name. We're going to uh, name this. Let's say Kurt Call 3. Name that. Run date, that's today. Start time, let's say uh, 10 o'clock a.m. And end time at 11 a.m. Okay, local time zone, that's whatever time zone you're in. We're in Central, so I'll go there. Touched on transfer, uh, there's different ways you can set up your uh, campaign as far as uh, getting information. Let's say, let's say you, you're going to put a message on there and then you're going to say, uh, if you need more information, press 1. Make it do that and get more information. Or uh, you may do a transfer where you have a live operator there and then you can give a message out and then say, if you'd like to speak to a live operator, press 1. It goes there. So you have those options. Down here, voicemail. Uh, we're not going to do a voicemail. That's if, if someone wants to leave a message. Uh, and you can, on your uh, message, it goes, I just say, uh, at the end of this call, if you'd like to leave a message, you go ahead and do that. So we're not going to do that, but I'm, you do have those options. Touch tone removed, it says 8, I'm going to 9. And all that is is at the end of the call, uh, your live calls, they're going to say, if you'd like to be taken off our uh, call list, press 9 now. If they do that, they're, they're taken off your internal, they're on your internal do not call list, and uh, they will not, all, they will automatically not receive any message from you. Caller ID, this is just your number, and if you have a voicemail number, that's great, because these uh, people may, may see this caller ID number and decide to call back and, and want to be removed from your call list. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my number in. Okay, and then transfer number would be the same number. Okay, and then down here on the bottom it says, uh, Report updates. This will give you a report once your campaign is completed. Here's the email address. I'll go ahead and put mine in there. And that's confirmed email. Okay, so we're all scheduled here. We've got all our information for our campaign. Let's go ahead and click on Load Messages and go to our next stage where we're uploading messages or, or reporting messages. Okay, this is uh, where you, you're, you're putting your message in that you want people to hear. Uh, there's two things here. There's a live answer message and then there's an answer machine message. And those will be somewhat different. On the live answer message, for example, you can say uh, a message you like people to visit the church on Sunday, and uh, or if you have a fundraiser, just any kind of message out there. And at the end of this, you'll say, if you'd like to be taken off our call list, press 9, and they'll automatically be uh, released from the call, on, they'll be on the call list. Down here, answer machine message, you're going to have the, basically the same message, but you're going to say, if you'd like to be taken off our call list, call a certain number, and that way they can just call in because if it's on the answer machine, of course, they can't press 9 and get on the DMC list. So uh, I've already recorded messages here, so I have some already loaded. Let me show you on the right. I mean, you may want to just record your own messages using your own equipment. Let's say you have a microphone and you're using a, a service, one of the web services where you record uh, WAV files. They have the WAV files to be used. And let's say you uh, put those into your computer and then you can browse, hit the browse button and find that particular uh, call or WAV file and uh, upload it onto the system here. Or you can uh, record a new message and that's it on the right here. And, and basically this is quite simple. Uh, you would call this number, 866 number. 
you're going to ask you for user ID, there's my user ID, 1357A, you'll have your own user ID, and uh, you'll uh, enter that. Then they'll ask you for your password, and your password is simply the, uh, the password that was given to you to access your voice uh, broadcasting system, and you're taking the letters and relating them or, or equaling them to numbers on a telephone keypad. And here's an example. Uh, if your password is password123, then this would be your number 727796731233. So uh, whatever your password is, and like I say, that, that password will be four letters, a number, and then four letters. You're, and it's good that before you start your campaign, go ahead and write down your password uh, so you'll have it ready to, to use. So you'll enter your password, and then they'll ask you uh, if you want to record a live me answer message or an answer machine message. And you can do both, and, you know, maybe press one or whatever they say. I think they say press one for a live answer message. Then you speak into the phone and, and uh, do the message there, and then uh, uh, that's all you have to do. And, it, and it'll be downloaded into the system, it'll be in on uh, the for example, my live answer message that I recorded, here's one that I recently recorded. I'll go ahead and load it up, and it's going to uh, give me a uh, preview here. All right, that's not the one. Uh, there it is, live preview. This is better. Let me load that one up, and it's going to play that message now. Okay, that's the message that I have already have in my system that I've used for a campaign. It's the live answer message. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, select one that's on my answer machine. That's that. that that's my answer machine message. And I won't go through that. But uh, anyway, it gives me a preview of that message. So now I have both uh, loaded. I've loaded a, a message on live answer and I've loaded a message on answer machine. Then you click next. And this is going to take, take us to the load data list. I'm going to stop right now, I'll do the end of part two, and, and at part three on using Ambush Pro, I'll show you how to load your list. So I'll stop now.